when you go, uh, when you uh, diagnose uh, with the inflammatory breast cancer? I had a ultrasound. But in uh, December two years ago? No, last year. Last year, in 2008? Eight. Yeah. Okay. 2008, I was, I had an ultrasound and it was determined that I had cancer. And I was trying to determine what to do because I wanted to avoid the conventional treatment. And they found out I had breast cancer, which I had been in denial. I was trying to pretend it wasn't there and maybe it might go away. Compared to many women my age, I seemed to be very healthy. And so I thought this was just a fluke. It couldn't happen to me. Refer me to an oncologist because all these are for over 22 years we hadn't seen a doctor. We, we, we teach fitness and nutrition and we thought we had all our bases covered. And I thought I could never come down with breast cancer. And then, because my children were forcing me to go see an oncologist and they set up an appointment. But the night before I discovered Valley Cancer Institute on the internet. Uh, so you found us uh, on the internet? Yes, on the internet. Thank and I, I remember that uh, you told me something that it got uh, your attention about uh, wh wh what was it? Yes, it got my attention right away because the body's method of healing itself is through a fever. Exercise is creating an artificial fever and everybody knows how valuable exercise is. So this made perfect sense to localize uh, hyperthermia, which is an induced fever, to the area that is diseased. So that just made perfect sense to me. So at least I had a little bit of ammunition when I went to see the oncologist the next day. And the first thing I did was ask him if he'd ever heard of hyperthermia. And right away he dismissed it. He said, oh, that's a myth, that's poppycock. Mm -hmm. Don't pay any attention to all those wackos. Mm -hmm. And thankfully I had my son with me, who was the one who arranged for this oncologist. And he saw what a closed mind this doctor had. And the doctor examined me and, and he said, oh yes, this is inflammatory breast cancer. It's very, very bad. It's very aggressive. And this is acute, you are stage 3B. And he, he, anyway, he said their method of treatment that I needed to get chemotherapy immediately, followed by a complete mastectomy, followed by more chemotherapy and radiation up to two years and no guarantees. Oh my goodness. So. I, thank goodness I had discovered Valley Cancer Institute the night before. Mm -hmm. And so we got on the telephone, my children were talking with Nash and back and forth conversations for three or four days and and we tied up all all, all kinds of loose ends so that I could rush out here. After and about four, four and a half weeks there was no noticeable improvement. How did you uh, remain strong? On the treatment. I didn't know where else to go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to have a mastectomy. I didn't want to have my, um, chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, the, the, that night, the next morning, it was as though what they said struck fear into the cancer because the next morning there was a dramatic improvement. And when I came to Dr. Albusan and he measured, it had gone from eight point five I think it was to four point five. It had reduced that much mm -hmm. in those several weeks. And the pain was gone. Mm -hmm. And I can run without having to be all bound up. Mm -hmm. I've increased my running, I've increased weight lifting to help strengthen my body and I'm being more strict with my diet mm -hmm. and I'm feeling much better. But inflammatory breast cancer is is just completely different from any other kind of cancer. In fact, most doctors don't even understand it and therefore they misdiagnose it and a lot of women die. And it's very acute and very aggressive. And Dr. Wolfstein, when he interviewed me the first time and then examined me, when he found out that I'd had it over a year, he just found it difficult to believe because I was still alive. Well, the 
Low dose radiation with the hyperthermia assists the radiation to work much better because it increases oxygen to the cells, gets them warm and more accessible. And then the exercise keeps the body nice and strong. And then, of course, you've got to feed that body good things. And the conventional treatment goes on and on and on and on. And most people, as I understand it, are healed, those who have not had too many conventional treatments done to them, so their body just cannot respond. And that's another reason why they think I have responded so well, is because I didn't have any of the conventional treatment. So my body didn't have all those things to overcome mm -hmm. in order to accept the treatment I got here. But it, it's, in the paper, all so loving and caring and so happy to assist in any way. Every, everything from the receptionist to you, Carlos, mm -hmm. to Nash, who introduced us to this program and everything, and all the technicians, everything from blood drawing to radiation, Sylvia down in radiation and Gigi. They are so loving and caring, and this, this positive attitude also helps a patient. Instead of being in a cold, inhumane hospital and being jerked around, and yeah. so well. it's like night and day. But I also increased my exercise, and that contributed too, but there was no pain except the pain I originally had with the inflammatory breast cancer. And in fact, I look forward to coming here and taking a nap during my hyperthermia. Mm -hmm. So it all worked out beautifully. Well, considering the fact that the oncologist back home told me I should undergo immediate chemotherapy and have a mastectomy, and then more chemotherapy and more radiation for up to two years and no guarantees, I've been here three months, and I, it appears that I'm healthy. The reason I'm doing this interview is to show other people that there are better ways than the conventional therapy. Yes, it's such a, such a shame, such a crime that so many women are being disfigured and their lives are completely dismantled and premature death is pretty imminent mm -hmm. because just doing the surgery and eliminating a, a, a part of the body isn't healing anything. You've got to learn what caused the disease and then take care of it properly. And here this enables you to do that so much faster without any of these side effects from conventional therapies. Mm -hmm. All right, Jerry, I thank you so much and I wish you my best and I'd like you. to keep in touch with you. It's been a pleasure.